The battle between which is better, fuel injection versus carbureted, isn't anything new. In fact, it's about a half a century old. Today we're here at West Tech and we're going to do a little bit of a comparison ourselves. We got Holly's new HP EFI fuel injection system. And we're going to see how it squares up against a big thousand CFM carburetor. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Holly provided us with the HP EFI fuel system, which comes with the intake manifold, the runners, and everything that you will need for a fuel injection swap. But since we're working this onto our Dart 440 small block, we had to take most all of the hardware that Holly provided us and apply it to our Dart intake manifold. The Holly manifold, though, does come with everything that you would need for a direct swap. The bungs are already casted into the manifold, and they apply directly into each individual runner. The fuel and injection rails also come included with all the hardware and plumbing already installed. The throttle body, which we've taken off of this and put it onto our other manifold, comes complete with their HP EFI fuel injection module. That module allows you to do a complete tune and to monitor almost everything possible to make your engine run at its top possible level. So when it comes to carbureted versus fuel injected, there's a lot of people who say that carbureted makes more power versus fuel injection. Obviously, there's benefits to, to either, so what are we looking at when it comes to carburetor? Is, is there really anything that a carburetor offers that maybe fuel injection doesn't have? Um, well, it all depends who you ask. I mean, yeah, a carburetor's a little bit, I should say, a lot more simpler. Okay. Um, you know, basically you put it on, you fire it up, and you're ready to go. Right. Uh, but most of the modern day fuel injections have really good base maps, so they'll fire right up um, once you get everything set per instruction. Um, I would rather do the fuel injection stuff because it has a lot more tunability, especially for cruise speed. Mm -hmm. As the weather changes, altitude changes, all that stuff's corrected for when you're driving. Okay. Um, so basically you have a system that you set up, you drive it around, you have the tune in it, and then it's done. As you can tell, it didn't take us very long to swap our Dart 440 small block motor from carbureted over to fuel injected. We used the Holly HP EFI throttle body, the injectors, and all the hardware that they provided us. Now we're going to see how it does with fuel injection. <laughs> Alright, so tell me how easy it is to tune with the HP EFI system. Um, it's pretty easy. I mean, it, it has your basics of uh, fuel base maps, and you can actually do on a small scaling if you're, you know, an intermediate or um, newcomer to this. And if you are an advanced tuner, you can actually enable for a larger fuel map. So it gives you a lot more tunability, especially if you're doing something in a race car that requires a lot of fine tuning. What you're able to do electronically that you can't do mechanically is you're able to adjust the fuel and the timing pretty pretty much infinitely at every RPM point. With a carburetor being a mechanical advice, it's kind of uh, at the mercy somewhat of the engine design. Right. Um, but as far as electronic fuel injection, you can contour the fuel and timing curve to pretty much any way you would like it. And of course, where it's really going to shine is enforced inductions and those sorts of things. Right. Which actually this system works really well with. Absolutely. Well, fantastic. Well, thank you again for your time. We really appreciate everything you did for us. Much.